this is going to be a transfer special today. So, a lot of big names got poached, let's be honest, and not for very much money. Uh, Sam Greenwood went there, 500k. Let's have a look. Sam Greenwood, career stats, 500k. I mean, we signed him on a free, so it's money for us, but he had a 7.1 average rate in last season. And Peterborough bought, came in 500k, he was like, I want to go there, they look like they're going to stay up more than us. And I was like, oh, come on. So yeah, it is what it is, but he left us. Sad time, Sam Greenwood was what was a good player. Samuel Ladozzi didn't play enough, this is my choosing, I let him go. Uh, the bad thing is, is like, we are, we're at game day, and I'm really struggling for... Um, for players like backups and even good first team players so it's going to be a struggle this season boys get ready for it <laughs> Charlie McCann a really sad one to see him leave really sad to see him go of course he signed us on a free played 35 appearances scored four got four assists left for 250k it's not very much money at all he's already valued at 300 and Sam Greenwood was already valued at 1.7 mil so that's sad news Owen Beck a real OG, you know, a real, real OG, but he left us, he only made eight appearances last season, didn't play very well in them, he's gone, a lot of loans, this time though, this, now I've got all my loans, I've got a lot of money coming in for the loans, if you look, and they're all paying all their wages, so it's fantastic for me, I've, it's freed up so much for me, it's really great, obviously no big transfer, like Harry Hunt was there, and Che Charles was there for that season that was massive um, brought in not great this guy though came in right back spot looks very good but you know who we have at right back Fermont Fermont for me there's no way in hell I'm dropping him absolutely fantastic player Lapadula is coming in as a regular starter he will get regular starter minutes he can also play as an inverted wing back really really comfortably and accomplished so happy about that he can play both sides off the bench that is absolutely superb he's going to be a regular starter so he will play a lot of minutes a lot of games for us i'm glad he came in this guy tyler on iango is my replacement for charlie mccann he looks really good though can I go, let's have a look, Charlie McCann, better, he's better defensively, better physically, better speed, he's better in the air, he's what, oh he's 6 foot 1 so he's a lot taller, he's a lot taller than Charlie McCann is, brilliant roles, uh, Charlie McCann is better technically attacking and vision, but he's not too far behind him, so it's fantastic, he's a really really good player that we brought in there really quick really good stamina his determination is quite low but i'm not expecting him to come in and grow i'm just expecting him to come in and do a job basically hopefully he does just do a job but as you can see he's only a squad player so i really would like to improve that even more we brought in philip kerr who has gone straight out on loan but he looks good he's got potential to be a uh, championship midfielder see these are the unfortunate things with my loanies i want them to play as much as possible but i think i might have loaned too many people out <laughs> um Ben Williams came in as a backup left back. Looks good. He's just going to be a backup. He probably will play as much as Beck did. He's a squad player, but he's getting paid quite a little bit of money. Wade Lovell came in as well. Another decent one for the future. Obviously only four star potential, but let's do it. I also... Um, so that's actually all the transfers that we've done so far. I'm going to do more transfers, but I'll go over them in the games where I uh, show you. But I really wanted to... Um, show you this little trick so scouting to find good regens what you want to do is first of all you've got to get your responsibilities done remember this this is important scouting assigning scouts you need to take control of that i didn't take control of that before but i put it as that just to show you what you should do if it says that so yeah take control of it and then you want to go to scouting Go to your assignments, and then no, yeah, everyone's no current. Right, just like get rid of these. Analyze next opposition. You need those. So, firstly, let's take a look. So, v 
Vicente, where can he scout? You want to have a look, so England and Spain. So, Spain are there. You can take a look at Spain. Does it say where they are? Rival nations. Languages, Spanish and English, okay. Right, so, for the best scout we've got, it's probably Johnny Peters. Johnny Peters, who's really good, he's our head scout. Belgium, France, Holland, England, so a fantastic variety of places he can scout. So yeah, I'm going to pick Johnny Peters. So what you want to do is scout and pull, click Johnny Peters. Where is he? Judging players, is it potential he's best at? Johnny Peters there. So you want to go on him, Johnny Peters, and as you can see it tells you there. Belgium, England, France. So what you want to do is Europe. I oh know. Um, is it's region, Central Europe and stuff like that. Alright, I'll be two seconds, I'm just going to go check where these are in Europe because I'm not too good with like geography and stuff like that so I'm going to check where these are these countries you probably already know but we'll see all right two seconds all right guys so yeah I just did it a quick little google all you have to google is countries in central Europe or countries in um, southern Europe uh, east no that's east Africa oh it's just eastern Europe sorry yeah or oh, south Europe but the countries that he knows are in Central Europe so you want to do that click Central Europe and then you want to do yeah transfer don't do and don't touch anything over here it's okay what you want to do is click this drop down menu go age and then is that most and then I would put 21 that's where you're gonna get the best value and range then you also want to put scouted potential ability and you want them to be a star it, because I'm in the championship, a star player for me, that is what I need. If you were a massive club, say like um, Manchester United or PSG, you know, Manchester City, their five star players will, are like the Neymars of the world, the Bruyners, you know, where they're a, they're a once in a generation talent. So you might want to go down to superb. So these basically count stars. So, you know, five, four and a half, four, three and a half, three, two and a half, two, one and a half, one, uh, zero or half star. Um, so yeah, for me in the championship, I want to find a star player, and then this is crucial. It's critical that you just do this. But duration there, make sure it's ongoing, and then start his assignment there, and then he should come back with you for a lot, a lot of think a lot, a lot of teams and a lot, a lot of players. So do this for all your scouts uh, that you want to do it for. It's the best thing you're going to do for yourself. You know, you're going to help yourself out in the long run. Um, but actually, I think that's pretty much all that we have time for, you know. Um, there's not really much else for me to talk about. So, I really hope you all did enjoy this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. It helps the channel out greatly. Please also check out some of my other videos. Um, I do like career sims of players, which is really interesting to see. You know, how football manager perceives them for the future and stuff like that. Every save's different, so if you've got that player... Why don't you come along and take a look at how he's going to develop in the future or if you are in the future take a look at how my game decided he was going to look. It's quite interesting, you may as well go take a look at it. Anyways, I really hope you all did enjoy the video, see you in the next one.